This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good evening everyone. Shalom Aleichem, Baruch HaMaboyim. Welcome everybody tonight's Shir. Continuing the Shir Man Sefer Bracious are generously sponsored by Dr. Zakheim, and Mishpach, the Lili Nishmas, Rav Shalom Eliezer ben Rabbi Yaakov Zakheim, and Lili Nishmas, Dr. Zakheim's mother, Rivka Bas Tovi HaLevi, the Nishmas Shav and Aliyah, B'Malitzi Yishem for their whole family, Ad B'Yaz Goyal Tzedek. Amen. Tonight's year is sponsored by a very dear friend from the land of Israel, sponsored anonymously. Tonight's year is also sponsored anonymously by a very dear friend in Muncie, in honor of the brand new Sefer on Shemais that just came out, hot off the press. So thank you very much. If anybody wants that, it's available here, or it's available on the uh, email um, through Hedy's. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Uh, tonight's subject, a very interesting subject. I had wanted to speak about this in the past, but uh, yesterday it just hit me, and uh, so here we have it. So the Malach, the angel, says to Yaakov Avinu, he says, what's your name? He says, my name is, my name is Yaakov. He says, nah, your name's not Yaakov. We're not going to say Yaakov anymore. Your name is Yisrael. Kisarisa im Your name is Yisrael because you strove with gods, with divine powers, and with men, and you prevailed. So what we're going to study tonight is what exactly is the meaning of the name Yaakov, and what is the meaning of the name Yisrael. Already? I just started, right? Um, ya- <laughs> Yaakov, and uh, you said, what exactly is the difference between the name Yaakov and the name Yisrael? It says Rashi. It should no longer be said that the brachos came by akva, veramia, through trickery. Yaakov is an implication of deceit. Ki im bisrara, v'gilu ipanim. From now on, people are going to say you earned it high-handedly, with revealed power. And don't worry, Hashem is going to eventually be moida, that the brachos belong to you. So according to Rashi, Yaakov implies a certain element of deceit, and Yisrael implies just transcending and overpowering in a revealed manner. But we're going to try to uncover today at least 10, probably 14 different secrets and meanings of the word Yaakov, okay? So uh, we'll try to get you at it at the same time. It doesn't matter. The rule is, it doesn't matter when you start, it just matters when you end, right? So, okay, here we go. Why do you like that so much? <laughs> okay, so number one. In, later on in the parsha, Yaakov comes to Basel. Vayomer lo yalakim, shimcha Yaakov, the Rebbe Shemzik name is Yaakov. Your name is not Yaakov anymore. Kim Yisrael Yishmech. From now on, your name is Yisrael. Fine. So it's interesting. We come to Barshas Vayigash, and Yaakov even comes down to Mitzrayim. So Hashem comes, and what does He say? He says, after giving a whole speech, your name is not Yaakov. He says, Vayoymer, Lo Yelikim Shimcha. He says. Yaakov, Yaakov! Right after the whole drusha that his name is not Yaakov, the Rebbe Shem says, by the way, Yaakov, Yaakov. I mean, that's, that's something for your name isn't not Yaakov anymore. Now, you know why? Because now your name is Yaakov, Yaakov. So the Ramban is bothered. After Hashem said his name is not Yaakov, why does he say his name twice? Yaakov, Yaakov. So the Ramban says that the word Yaakov implies that he struggles with Esav. Yisrael implies he prevails over Esav. So Yaakov only prevailed over Esav so much, but now that he's going down to Mitzrayim, he no longer prevails over Esav. Now he's back to the fight. He's back to the struggle. He's now, now Beheyov Koyima. He's still back into the fight. He's still sort of clawing at Esav. So, says Ramban, Yaakov is the name of Klal Yisrael and the Golos, Yisrael is the name of Kal Yisrael in the Geula. Okay, that's the first Yisrael. Therefore, says Ramban, Ve'ela Shemois b'nei Yisrael haboim Mitzrayma. As they're coming, before they get there, they're Yisrael. But when they get there, Ace, Yaakov v'shu b'yisraibo, the Ramban says, right? Ve'ela Shemois b'nei Yisrael. They're b'nei Yisrael so long as that they're haboim, they're still coming. But Ishu... Um, base Yaakov, Ishu Beisai. Bo, once they get there, they're Yaakov. Yisrael is the Geula, Yaakov is the Galas. 
Yeah? So, so far we have two perushim. Rashi says Yaakov implies trickery. Yisrael is Lamala Menateva. And the Ramban learns Yaakov is the name of Kal Yisrael in the Golos. And Yisrael is the name of Kal Yisrael Bigula. There's another meaning of Yaakov as opposed to Yisrael. The Nitziv in the Harchev Davar, the Nitziv says on the fifth line in this week's parasha, Kavonas Yisrael hu al hanhoga lemala minateva. Yaakov is when Hashem deals with us bederach hateva. Yisrael is when Hashem deals with us lemala minateva. By the way, the Gros says similarly on the Pasuk, Darach koichav mi Yaakov v'kam shevet mi Yisrael. The Gros says, not Yaakov is bederach hateva, Yisrael is lemala minateva, but Yaakov is when Hashem does nisim ketanim, and Yisrael is when Hashem does Nisim Gedolim. Similar, okay? But the Malbim says, Beferish and Yeshaya, the, the, the Malbim says, there's a Hevdel between Yaakov and Yisrael. Yaakov is when we're B'Madrega Ketana. Yisrael is when we're B'Chashivus B'Derech Nes. By the way, Rav David Koyen, Rosh Shiva of Hebron, says, that's why we say, Shoshanas Yaakov. First of all, Purim happened in the Galas. Second of all, it was Bader Chateva. It was not. It was. It was in the guise of nature. So we don't say Shoshanas Yisrael, which is Nisim Gluim, it's Shoshanas Yaakov. But you know, we were just. Where were we just, Yossi? In which cave? We were just in a cave. Elio Anavi. What was Elio? He was getting ready for the the prophets of the Baal. So the the Navi says, if you look at number seven. Vayikach Eliyahu Shteim Esrei Avanim. Elijah took 12 stones. Kemispar Shiftei Vene Yaakov. Like the number of the tribes in Yaakov. Oh, by the way, the Navi says, Asher Hoya Dvar Hashem Elamimar, Yisrael Yishimach Hashem changed his name from Yaakov to Yisrael. Why is the Navi in the middle of nowhere, right? Elio is preparing the 12 stones, and he says, prepare 12 stones, Kenege the Shiv Shvatim. By the way, his name is in Yaakov, Yashem changed it to Yisrael. You know, like, why don't we say, Tyra, Tziva, Leno, Moshe, Moshe, Kilos, Yaakov, but we don't call him that anymore, we call him Yisrael. You know, every time we say Yaakov, we have to go back, but that's not his name, Hashem changed it to Yisrael. So Rav David Koyin says, Elio is about to perform an open miracle. He has to invoke the Koyach of the shame, Yisrael. So therefore, the Pasuk says, he prepared 12 stones, Kibinyan, B'nai Yaakov, but we need to invoke that his name was now called Yisrael. Now, Rav David Koyin says a very important idea, that the teaching of the Ramban, that Yaakov is the time of Golos, and Yisrael is the time of the Gula, is really synonymous with the Malbim and the Gra, that Yaakov is the name B'dar Chateva and Yisrael is Lamala Menateva. Because in the Golos we're Yaakov, and in the Golos Hashem deals with us B'dar Chateva, and in the time of Geula we're Yisrael, and in the time of Geula Hashem deals with us Lamala Menateva. Rup Shmuel, what's the name of the baby? Yisrael? Very good. Okay. So that's uh, in honor of the new Enochal. Yeah? Okay. So that's that's Rav David Koyin. Another, another very important idea. Do you remember the end of the first parak of Masech, the Brachis? The Gemara talks about that even though Hashem said, your name is in Yaakov, it's not like he lost the name completely. It's Yisrael Ikar, the Yaakov Tafel, right? Meaning, it's not like Avram. You're not allowed to call him Avram. It's, all, it's an Avera call him Avram. It's interesting, the Rambam doesn't count it, but I think the Magan Avram brings it like it's Osir. You're now to, to refer to Avraham as Avram. But you're allowed to call Yisrael Yaakov. And the Gemara in that sugya brings the idea that when Mashiach comes, we're not going to say anymore Hashem who took us out of Mitzrayim, but Hashem who took us out of America. Edom. Right? Edom. Edom. The America, right? So, and then the Gemara says, not that we're going to forget about Mitzrayim, but Shibud Malchios Iker Mitzrayim Tafel. So that means there is a similarity between 
The, the main name is Israel. Yaakov is Tafel. The main Geula is Geula from Edom, and Geula from Mitzrayim is Tafel. Like these two ideas are parallel. The Yeshua is Yaakov. Who wrote the Yeshua is Yaakov? Rabbi Yaakov Orenstein, one of the great Achroinim. He's buried in Lemberg, in Lvov, in the Ukraine. I had the zuchus to be there two years ago, and then, then you know what happened. But He's buried, there's a plaque that says the Sma, no, it says the Taz, the Sma, the Chacham Tzvi, the Shoyal Umeshev, and the Yishos Yaakov. They're all buried there. It's, it's by a hospital in the Ukraine. Anyway, he says the following idea. Where does the name Yaakov come from? Anyone named Yaakov here? I'm also, I'm a, you're a, yeah. You're, just for this year. Just for this year. <laughs> Azriel Yaakov. Okay. I'm Daniel Yaakov. Shlomo Yisrael. Shlomo Yisrael. Yeah, all right. You're the winner for this one. <laughs> okay. Yaakov was holding on. Why is it called Yaakov? He's holding on to the heel of Esav. Says Yeshua Yaakov, the Rebbein Shem has two ways of looking at Kalal Yisrael. He could look at a Jew who wakes up early every morning to come to Shachris well in advance, and he davens bekavana atzuma, and he's koveya itim latoira, and he deals in business honestly, and he speaks to his wife beneimos, and he's bene adam lechaveira is impeccable, and the Rebbeinu Shem says, "You're inherently great. You're a prince. You're Yisrael." And then there's a guy who's he rolls in by the, the by the fourth hallelujah, holding his cup of coffee, checking his phone. You know, during the Kriya Shema, schmoozing, you know, finagling, and the, you know, his Bainalim is terrible. But Hashem says, but at least you're better than the North Koreans. Right? So Hashem has two ways of dealing with people. Hashem could deal with a Jew and look at them independently, or Hashem could look at them vis-a-vis Esav. Yisrael is when we're inherently, objectively on a high level, and Hashem says, Yisrael l'skul asai. But when we're not so great objectively, but we're only great relative vis-a-vis the nations of the world, that's the Bechina of Yaakov. Ki Yaakov bachar loika. When it comes to the Madrig of Yaakov, Hashem has to choose between Yaakov and Esav. But Yisrael is not a Bechira, it's Yisrael is gulasai. We're inherently on a high Madriga. So these are the two Bechinas. And at times, we're roi to be Yaakov. Ya- Yisru, but Yisrael is Asher B'cha Espo'er. Hashem glories in the Madrig of Yisrael. But sometimes we're not on that level and Hashem has to imagine us grabbing onto the hill of Esav. You know, it's always vis-a-vis Esav. It's the same thing about the future. When Mashiach comes, we'll be Zoycha to Mashiach in our own merit, on an objective standard. As opposed to when Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim, we weren't on a, on a great level. Was, we were both halalu avdei avay dezara and halalu avdei avay dezara. It's just we were a little bit better. It was, oi hanisa lakim lavoi lakachas loi goi mi kerev goi. It's one nation better than the other. So the same way the Iker name is Yisrael and Yaakov is Tafel and Yaakov is secondary and Yaakov is really not the Madriga we're hoping for, so too the Iker Gula is the Gula Asida that's objective. And Gulas Mitzrayim is basically when we're only Roy for it vis a vis uh, Esav. Okay, so that's parish number three in Yaakov and Yisrael. Number one, Rashi, Yaakov is deceitful. To an extent, Yisrael is, op- is Begiloi. We have the Ramban, Yaakov is in the Golos, Yisrael is in the Geula. We have the Malbim, Yaakov is Bedar Chateva, Yisrael is a Malmateva, and this is number four, Yeshua is Yaakov. Yaakov is the Bechina vis a vis the nations of the world. Yisrael is objective. Now fasten your seatbelts. You never heard anything like this. The secrets of the name Yisrael. Okay? The Marami Rotenberg was the Rebbe of the Rush. He was imprisoned in a castle in Einzeshaim. The, they allowed his Talmidim into the jail, and one of the Talmidim who came into the jail was the Tashbates. The Tashbates, the Tashbates recorded 590 in Yonim that Marami Rotenberg taught him. 
The Tashbeitz teaches that he heard from Arami Rotenberg, since Yaakov Avinu was the final Av, he's Koilel everyone. Therefore, y- Yisrael, Yud, Yaakov, Yisrael, Sin, Sara, Reish, Rivka, Rachel, Aleph, Avraham, Lamed Leia. Yisrael encompasses all the Aves and Imais. Who else says that? It's in Ariza on Sefer Alikutim this week's Parsha. Yud, thank you. Rav Moshe remind you, Yud is Yitzchak, of course. We don't really need for Yaakov and Yisrael, right? Yud is Yitzchak. Shin is Sarah. Reish is Rachel and Rivka. Aleph is Avraham. Lamed is Leah. Good. Yud is Yisrael, Yaakov and Yitzchak. Says the Shla Kadosh. I feel very close now to the Shla. I don't know if you're allowed to say that, but I just visited him in Tveria. And then I was at his house in the old city. I mean, and now we're learning him. What more, I mean, what more could we do? The Shla says, if you look at the name Yisrael, you'll see wonders. All the Avais and the Imahais are Marumas, but he says the Yud Shin Reish is doubled. How? It's Yitzchak Sarah Rivka or Yaakov Shvatim Rachel. Right? Yitzchak Sarah Rivka or Yaakov Shvatim Rachel. But the Kel is only Avraham Leah. So this is Marumaz. Ki Yesharim Darche Hashem. The Yashar part is Yesharim. It's two Yashars. There are two Yashars. There is Yitzchak Sar Rivka, Yaakov Shvatim Leah. But the Kale, it's only Kale Echad. It's only one God, Avraham and Leah. This is what Bilam said. Tamais Nafshi, Mois Yesharim. I want to die like the Yesharim. Yitzchak Sar Rivka, or Yaakov Shvatim Rachel. But Otihi, Acharisi, Kamayu. My end should be like theirs, which is Kale. That's shot number five. It encompasses all the Avais and the Imais. Next, Pnei Yeshua, Mesech the Kedushin. If you count the letters of the Torah, you have something like a little bit over 300,000. And yet we have a tradition, a true tradition. The Zayar talks about, the Chida mentions, the Shla talks about, that Yesh Shishim Ribai Oisiyos La Torah Yisrael Yesh Shishim Ribai Oisiyos La Torah 600,000 letters on Torah. Every Jew has their letter that they're ne'echaz by, they're achuz by, they're connected to. Kol Neshama, this is what the Pnei Yeshua brings down, Yisrael Noitrikain Yesh Shishim Ribai Oisiyos La Torah. So this is number seven. Yesh Shishim Ribai Oisiyos La Torah. Every neshama has an achizo ba'isachas. So again, one Yisrael is open-handed begaloi without any deceit. One is Yisrael is the Ramban in times of Geula, the Malbim Lamala Menateva. We have the Yeshua Yaakov, which is inherently on a high level as opposed to vis-a-vis Esav. We have number five, the Tashbeitz, all the Avais and the Mice. And number six, Yisrael. Yesh, Shishim, Ribai, Oisios, La Torah. You ready? We're just getting going. <laughs> number seven. The Ribai Nisham says, Ra'oi ra'isi yes'ani ami, I see the affliction of my people. V'yasakosam shamati, I hear their outcry. Ki yadati es machoivav, I know their wound. God has a relationship with us three-pronged. He's yada, He knows. He's shama, He hears. He's ra, He sees. Yisrael, yada, shama, ra, kel. God knows. God hears. God sees. Kale. That's a good one, no? Chasam soy for Pasha Shemais. Yisrael. Yada Shama Ra'a Kale. So that was number seven, yeah? Number eight. Here we go. How many spheroids are there? Ten. What are they? 
Chachma Bina and Das. What's another word for Das? Keter. Keter. Number one is Keter. Then Chachma. Then Bina. Okay. Then Chesed. What's another word for Chesed? L'chashem HaGedula. Gedula. Then Gevura. Then Tiferes. Then Netzach. Then Hoid. Then Yesoid. Malchus. Keser, Chachma, Bina, Gedula, Gevura, Teferas, Netzach, Hoid, Yisoid, Machos. Those Rashi Tevois are Chaf, Ches, Beis, Gimel, Gimel, Taf, Nun, He, Yod, Mem, 541. Yisrael is Gematria 541, Rashi Tevois of all ten Sphirois. That's, who says that? The Chida in number 16. And by the way, the Shla also said that in number 12. <clears throat> I was struggling. I, I thought it was Chesed Gevura Teferas. But the way the Shla writes it, it's instead of Chesed, Gedula. That's how we have it in Davening. But Gedula is usually referring to Chesed. The Midas HaGedula is the Midah of Chesed. So all ten Sphirois, the Rashi Tevois, are Gematria. 541 Yisrael. That's number 8. What is Sphiros? Sphiros are, like, are, it's a very difficult concept. Even though we're not allowed to attribute any physical element to God. It's really words. God is, it's God is, 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 God no physical terminology is applicable to God. Nevertheless, there's an idea that we, Hashem relates to the world through manifestations. And the manifestations are in the image of an element of physicality. So there's a concept, there's the Chachma Bina Vadas of the Divine. Then there's a right arm, a, right, a, a left arm, Chesed, Gevura, Teferas, there's a right thigh and a left thigh, Netzach and Hoid. There's Yisoid, which is, uh, the Mila is referred to as Yisoid. So that's just the way that we're allowed to try to imagine on some dimension with which Hashem relates to the world. And even that, some say you can't even discuss. But there is a, the Marsha Masech the Chagiga says, the ten statements with which Hashem created the world refer to the ten Spheroids, the ten manifestations. So each one of the Avais is considered connected to one of them. So Avraham is Chesed, and Yitzchak is Gevura, and Yaakov is Teferas, and Moshe is Netzach, and Aaron is Hoid, and Yosef is Yisoid, and David Amelch is Malchus. Tzadik Yisod Elam. Tzadik Yisod Elam. Now raise your hand if your name is Larry. Good. Says the Chida, the word Yisrael are the letters Eish Lari, or Eish Lari. I call it Eish Lari. I don't think that's the Kabbalistic pronunciation, but that's how you remember it. Eish Lari. Lari is a klipa. Lari is the klipa of Znos. The way you overcome Lari is Leah Rachel Yaakov. So Lari is also Rosh Tevas Leah Rachel Yaakov. It's a Kabbalistic idea. So there's a klipa that influences Nus. And Yaak, Leia, Rachel, Yaakov overcome it. By the way, Larry is Gematria 240, which is Amalek. So the, Yisrael is Ish that overcomes 240 Amalek, or Ish that overcomes Larry. So you could be friends with a guy named Larry, but don't get near a klipa named Larry. That's the difference. If the guy's name is Larry, okay, it's not, it's not a problem. If a Klipa says, Shalom Aleichem, my name is Klipas Larry, stay away. Anyway, that's another symbolism of Yisrael. Yisrael is Eish, Lamed, Reish, Yud. So the next time you see Lamed, Reish, Yud, and you get scared, first thing is, if you read it, Larry, it sounds not as scary, but it's, it's supposed to be scary. St- <laughs> what was it? No, no, Larry is the Rehazakin. The Ri is the nephew of Rabbeinu Tam. The Rush says after Rabbeinu Tam is the greatest of all the Rishonim. Okay, next. 
Idea number 10. Whose name here is Yosef? We had before. What's the gemachi of Yosef? 156. What's the significance of that? Six times Yudke Vavke. Because Yosef is Yisoid, which is the sixth Sphira. Yosef is six. Yaakov is Gematria 182. Seven times Yudke Vavke. Yitzchak is 208. Eight times Yudke Vavke. Isn't that unbelievable? Yosef is six times Yudke Vavke. Yaakov is seven times Yudke Vavke. Yitzchak is eight times Yudke Vavke. And it goes further. What is the Hasatan? Hasatan is 364. Got that? Hasatan, 364. Which is 14 times Yudke Vavke. <laughs> Yaakov, Yaakov equals Hasatan. That's why when Yaakov goes down to Mitzrayim, Hashem says, don't worry about the Satan. Yaakov, Yaakov. So you could overpower Hasatan. Hasatan is 364. Yaakov, Yaakov is 364. The Koyach of Yaakov is to counteract the Satan. However, there's a stronger power. There is grabbing the Satan and pulling him into the base HaMedrish and bringing him on your side. Right? There's an idea, you could beat the Satan, or you could mashcheyu lebeis ha-medosh, you could bring him into beis ha-medosh. Use the Satan to advance Kedusha. That's the Kayach of Yisrael. You ready for this? Yisrael is Gematria, what? 541. The Hafla says, Yaakov, 182, plus Satan, 359, is Yisrael, 541. <laughs> so, Hasatan is Yaakov Yaakov. Yaakov plus Satan equals Yisrael. That's the Hafla in the Hakdama to Kedushin. So what? A total of? What's, what, what, you, what is? 541? Because Yaakov is 7. Right. And Yaakov is 7. And Hasatan is 14. Hasatan is 14. But Yaakov and Satan without the Ha... <clears throat> so these are ten secrets of the word Yisrael. A few more? We'll do a few more. Um, we have from Rav Chaim Falaji. Rav Chaim Falaji says that even when a Jew is down in the dumps and poor, nevertheless we don't we don't uh, we're not Koifer and HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Yisrael stands for Reish Kael. Reish is poverty. Even when we're Reish, even when we're poor, Kael, we stick to God. Or, you know how it is if you have a rich, <laughs> um, if you have a rich relative, you try to be very close with them. A poor relative, you know, you try to stay away from them. So Hashem, even though we're poor, we're impoverished, Hashem is still close to us. Reish, even though we're poor, Kel God is close to us. So that's number 11. Or Reish is a lesson of Yerusha, inheritance. Our inheritance is HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Or Sheer Kel. Sheer Kel. What does Sheer Kel mean? That sing. Who could sing to Hashem? Only Kal Yisrael is Roy to sing to Hashem. Says Rav Chaim Falaji, Yisrael, Sheer Kel. Deli Yisrael Davka Roy Lahem Sheyashiru Lakel. And here finally, number 14, Yisrael is Li Roish. When Kal Yisrael is in a state of Kedusha, there are the Bechina of the Roish. We're alive. We're, we know Tzadikim B'Misasim are called Chayim. Rasham B'Chayim are called Mesim. We are always B'Bechinas Roish. The Goyim are Psik Reisha. They're already, their heads are cut. They're already B'Bechinas Misa. We are B'Bechinas Roish. And here's my favorite one. Okay, you ready for this? Chanukah's coming. So we know on Hanukkah 
Why did God have to make a miracle for us? Why don't we just use Tameh oil? The, the Tzibur was Tameh, so just use Tameh oil. So one of the famous answers um, Rabbi Yosef Engel talks about is you could use Tameh oil, but you can't start off anything but Tameh. When you inaugurate something, when you do something in the beginning, it always has to be in the highest sense. Klal Yisrael has the following principle. Li Reish, we always give God the beginnings. We don't eat until we daven. We don't take care of our business until we learn something. There's a concept, the Baal Shem says, Kadesh li kol b'chayar. We sanctify to God all of our beginnings. We wake up in the morning, our first thought should be HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Our first glance should be Dvarm Sheba Kedusha. Our first words should be Moida Ani Lefanecha. We don't take care of our needs until we... Offer the first service HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I always like to say, and uh, easier said than done, that leave your phone on your dresser and don't look at it until after you daven in the morning. First of all, what are you going to see on it? And there's nothing, you're not going to see anything that important on the phone. Just people who probably want your money or something. So, some, right? But, Kadesh Li Kobachar. Don't do... Don't take care of your own needs until you service HaKadosh Baruch Hu. This is the name Yisrael, Li Roish. We offer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu our beginnings, our first glance, our first thought, our first words, our first activity. We always give to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and then we partake of our needs. So that's the definition of the word, what? Bikurim. 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 So you ready? Here's the executive summary. Number one, Yaakov as opposed to Yisrael. Yisrael means without any deceit, without any trickery. Vesrar v'gilud panim. That's Rashi. Ramban, Yaakov in the Golos, Yisrael in the Gula. The Malbim, Yaakov v'derach ha-teva, Yisrael l'malam ha-teva. Yeshua is Yaakov. Yaakov is the Bechina of Hashem viewing us vis-a-vis the Goyim. Yisrael is Hashem viewing us independently. Tash beitz katan and the Arizal. Yitzchak, Yaakov, Yisrael, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Avram, and Leah. The Pnei Yeshua, Yeshishim, Riva, Yosi, Esla, Toira, Chsam, Soifer, Yada, Shama, Ra'a, Kael. The Chida, the Ten Sphirois, Rosh Hashanah, Gemachia, Yisrael. Eish, Larry. You want to fight the Klip of Znus? The fire against Larry. Number 10, Yaakov plus Satan is 541 is Yisrael. We bring the Yitzhar into the base of Medrash. Then we have four Perushim of Rav Chaim Falaji. Reish Kel, even when we're impoverished, whether financially or emotionally or whatever state we're in, we are dedicated to Baruch Hu. Then we have Reish Kel, our inheritance is Hashem. Then we have Shir Kel, only Klai Yisrael sings to Hashem. And then Li Reish, whatever we do in this world, we give Hashem our beginnings. These are only, you think, oh wow, wow, we really scratched, uh, we really got a lot of you. So we haven't even begun to scratch, to begin, to start, to make a small opening, to scratch the surface of the depth and the secrets in the name Yisrael. But uh, this gives us a little bit of a flavor, and we should be zoicha to the great title Yisrael, and Hashem should say about us, Yisrael, Asher Becha Esbar. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful night. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.